Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com This tutorial will look at how to spell check a protected worksheet Now the spreadsheet in front of me currently is not protected but the plan is for the user to protect this worksheet to prevent you know, unnecessary accidental mistakes to ruin uh, kind of existing formulas in column G or to prevent people accidentally accessing uh, these other cells which they, they have no need to. But it'll also improve uh, usability by the fact that the user can then tab between the, the correct cells etc. So uh, first of all let's look at protecting this spreadsheet. So I'll just pop to my review tab on the ribbon protect sheet and I'm going to enter the password of Excel which will be important to see shortly so that was Excel the password which I wouldn't recommend you using as your real password <laughs> but it will work for the purposes of this tutorial so I'll put in Excel, I'll click on OK I'll repeat that password and OK and this worksheet is protected I mean as a user Using my tab key now, it follows the unlock cells. It's going to be fantastic, you know, not nice user, usable features of the spreadsheet. You know, I can access these uh, the cells that I need to and enter data, but I can't change what I don't need to. Unfortunately, you know, as for the purpose of this tutorial, somebody may need to now spell check this worksheet, and because it is protected, the spell check feature is disabled. So looking at my review tab here, I can see that spell check, my spelling button is disabled. Uh, F7, any other techniques you know, they will not work. Uh, you cannot spell check a protected sheet. However, fortunately, we have created a macro in advance that will allow us to protect this sheet. Uh, sorry, not to protect it, to spell check the protected sheet. This macro at the moment, I do not have a button that runs it. So I'm just going to... Uh, quickly add that in there just realizing the kind of error in my ways maybe I should have set this up in advance I'll just quickly pop through these steps more detail to how to do this can be found in uh, the link in the description of this video I'm just going to add my spell check it macro uh, I'll leave it with that kind of flowchart icon and if I give that a click it allows me to spell check this protected sheet so I can see no fine picks is fine. Fujinon, is that fine? Probably not, but I'll ignore it. <laughs> this is what I'm getting to. This is the information I've just typed. Obviously they are they are mistakes, but I'll ignore them for now. Just to show that it has allowed me to go through and spell check the sheet despite it being protected. And on the review tab you can see it is still protected and the spelling button is still disabled. So I'm just gonna uh, pop back onto the uh, the, the view tab. Uh, now I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll go into the developer tab, I'll take this route, and I'm going to click on the visual basic button. So let's look at how you yourself can create that macro to spell check a protected worksheet. You'll need to go to your developer tab and click on your visual basic button, or use the keyboard shortcut Alt and F11. Your visual basic editor will open, like this. You will then need to insert a module, I can see for myself on the stock sheet workbook, I already have a module, module 1, you yourself will need to go to insert and insert a module if you have not already got one. And in this module 1, if I double click to open up its code window, this is the macro you will need to create. And if you follow the link in the description of this video, uh, there will be the code there for you to just simply copy and paste into this module. So I'm going to see sub spell check it, it's a macro called spell check it. Just three lines of code, unprotect the stock sheet, sheet. Obviously put your own worksheet name in here to replace stock sheet, unless yours happens to be called that as well. And put your own password here if you have one. So we use the password Excel, uh, so I've put that in there so that it can unprotect the sheet. Check the spelling and then protect it afterwards. That is it, you can then close down that window. You need to add a button like we've quickly just shown. You can follow descriptions in the tutorial. And you have yourself a macro that will spell check a protected worksheet. I hope you found this tutorial useful. 
Please check out some of our tips and tricks at computergargar.com.